Damon Gonzalez, I'm here with the flyweight champion, uh, WBC champion, uh, Glenn Donier, uh, here in uh, Tampa, Florida, Ways of California. Uh, Glenn Donier prepared to fight for the NABO, the WBO title, this Friday at uh, Aaron Jacobs uh, Presents Fight Night. Uh, wing House at the Alacop Pavilion here in Tampa. How you doing, Mr. Donier? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Mr. Donier, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty awesome run for you this year. You know, you're coming off two great wins, you know, a win with Omar Salido and Alex Sanchez. And here you are, you land yourself in Tampa, Florida. You know, really, have gloves will travel. You've been really busy. Let's talk about uh, you being busy and preparing for Friday. Um... You know, I, I thank God, you know, for my family that really helped me out. You know, they, they got me out from, from work, and that's why I'm here right now talking to you because I was working full-time as a truck driver and, you know, working 60, sometimes 70 hours a week. So for three and a half years, you know, I was dreaming about, it, man, am I going to be able to go back to boxing? And just one day, you know, my, my relatives, you know, came up to me and told me, you know, waited for me when I got home. I said, hey, do you want to go back? And thank God, you know, back to back, I, I got, you know, I proved myself that, you know, I'm a lot better now and got those wins. You know, let's talk about the breed of boxing in the Donier family, man. Uh, you talk a little bit about that, being raised around boxing in your family, and, and how has it worked out so well for you? Um, you know, when, when I was young in, in, in the Philippines, I used to see my dad spar, you know, spar with, man, four-rounders, you know, and my dad is not even a professional because he couldn't. He got four kids, so uh, he, he was, you know, he was in the military, in the army, and also uh, I, I used to, you know, see him spar with the with, uh, you know, four-rounders, and, man, Larry knocked his four-rounders out. And, you know, since, you know, since that, you know, I loved boxing since I was maybe six years old, you know, and uh, I really started, you know, like, training uh, when I got here in the U.S. Uh, because I got, you know, got in trouble in school and stuff, so boxing was the one that really saved me. That's great. And this Friday, we're looking at a sold-out fight from what I hear uh, from the promoters. You know, you're going in to face, uh, you know, tough Mexican Omar Soto. You know, so so though, you know, hands down, he likes to crack. You know, this is a guy that takes a lot of risk, and uh, he he likes to come at you. Uh, how are you preparing for Soto? Um, right now, I mean, you know, I'm just doing our game plan. You know, um, I don't want to go, you know, get ahead of myself and just you know be focused and relax in there, cause um, that's all I could do. You know, I did everything in the gym. Now all I, all I have to do is you know put that training in, in you know in in the ring tomorrow on Friday. You know, talk about uh, being a world champion and, and uh, hopefully this Friday uh, succeeding and getting another championship belt. You know, talk about these goals that you have of being an utmost champion. Um, you know, to be, I mean, every fighter, you know, their number one goal is to be a world champion. And for that, it, you know, it, for me to be able to do that, you know, I could, you know, show the world that my daddy, you know, is one of the best trainers out there. You know, he made my brother a world champion and, 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 you know, God be willing, I get my shot and, you know, make him proud. And my family also, that really helped me. So, and also to all my uh, friends and, and family that, you know, that supported me. Thank you so much for everything. Glenn Donier, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank good luck Friday. Much. Thank you.